the fifth round of the Intelligent Money British GT Championship was another cracker. It was led in the early stages by Ian Loggy from pole position with Flick Haig going after him. Mark Sansom had a fantastic start, moving the Assetto Bentley from fifth on the grid uh, to third place through the first corner, and he then set off after the race leaders. It was a surprisingly clean start, actually, which saw Matt Cowley in the GT4 leading car initially mixing it with some of the GT3s whilst they all tripped over each other behind. The R Racing Aston Martin was all over the Tom Edgar's Toyota, which seemed to be struggling mid-corner through some of the low-speed stuff. In the end, the Aston was passed, though, by the number 65 Porsche, which would be a factor for the win all race long. In GT4, that battling got a little bit too close for comfort on one or two occasions. A bit of contact at the Wilson hairpin. Not the last time those two drivers would come to blows. John Ferguson was feeling the pressure from Adam Ballon, and eventually that pressure told the Mercedes bouncing over the grass at Murray's corner, sending him to the back of the top ten. This was another close moment for Tom Edgar in the Toyota, almost getting taken out by Betty Chen. Just before the pit window opened, Ian Loggy brought the race leading and championship winning car into the pit lane to hand over to Callum McLeod. The Neeries gained lots of ground through the pit stop sequence, actually ending up in fourth position from eighth on the grid, but Sam Neary had to defend from Lewis Williamson for much of his stint. As Marco Signoretti rejoined the circuit in the Academy Mustang, he held on to the GT4 lead, but by the narrowest of margins, whilst it was Johnny Adam who led in GT3 after the number six car had to serve its success penalty. Battling a plenty as the GT3 cars were trying to negotiate the GT4s whilst also having their own fights. Some of those fights getting a little bit rough. There was contact between the 76 and 5 McLarens with the 5 car on the grass. And then a lap later, Lewis Proctor tangling with Joe Wheeler's Ginetta as he tried to put a lap on it through Rich's corner. Then a definitive moment in the GT4 battle. Contact sent Marco Signoretti off the road and the 65 Porsche of Seb Hopkins was given a penalty afterwards. Johnny Adam, meanwhile, had a slow punch which resulted in him pitting from the lead and the victory went to the championship lead as a second win of the year for the number six Ram Racing Mercedes of Ian Loggy and Callum McLeod whilst our racing broke the record for the youngest ever winners in the GT4 category inheriting the win right at the end.